everybody, welcome to the Season Butcher. On today's edition of the Season Butcher, we're going to make some venison summer sausage. So, let's get started. First thing you're going to start with is our summer sausage is a 50-50 ratio. We're going to make 50% venison and 50% pork. On our pork side, we're going to be using pork butt. On the venison side, we're going to use some of them trimmings. What we mean by trimmings is it can be leg meat, it can be some of them little trimmings if you square your steaks up when you're ready to package. That's what we use for our sausage. So what you're going to do is you're going to break down your pork butt and you're going to cut that in a chunk small enough to fit through your grinder throat, whatever size you have. So we're looking at a one inch to two inch chunk. Now some of you guys with bigger grinders, yes you can put bigger chunks through it, but the reason why I want you to break it down to one inch to two inch chunks is you're looking for this fatty gland in that pork butt. Most pork butts have this little gland in there. You're going to want to cut that out. So after you have your meat all broken down, we're going to run it through our grinder. The first grind. This is a coarse grind. And we make it a little bigger than what comes with your normal grinder plates with your grinder. We will run a 12.5 millimeter grinder plate because we like our stuff a little bit more meatier and it doesn't break the fibers down. So we're going to do a first grind through a 12.5 millimeter grinder plate. And we're going to grind it all into the same tub. After you grind it through a 12.5 millimeter grinder plate, then we're going to mix in our seasoning. Today we're going to do a garlic summer sausage, but I'm going to put my own little added twist on it due to my own flavor likings. This is why it's called home butchering. So what you're going to do is I'm going to split the seasoning in half and I'm only going to put in half the seasoning to start with. Now with the garlic summer sausage it comes with a packet of garlic with it. I'm going to add that and then my own little twist. I'm going to add two ounces of cracked black pepper, two ounces of mustard seed, and four ounces of minced garlic. Real minced garlic. Because I'm a big garlic fan. For you guys that like garlic, four ounces is a safe bet to add into your mix. Now, when it comes to the pink kier that comes with your package, this mix you need five cups of water. What I do is I mix my pink kier right into my water. So now I'm going to add in half the water also with half of my spices. Reason why I'm putting half in is I actually mix this up twice because I'm mixing it by hand. So I'm going to mix all my spices up, half of them, one time, and then after that's mixed up, I'm going to add the rest of it and mix again by hand. I feel like it does a better job mixing up when I add it 50-50 and I mix it twice. After you get all your seasonings mixed up in your coarse grind, now I'm going to run it through a 4.5 final grind. That's about an eighth inch. The reason why we do that is so you have the right consistency of meat that you want in your, in your summer sausage. So after you run it through your final grind, the 4.5, what we're going to do is we're going to stuff it. Now, when it comes to the stuffing part, when you're ready to go and you start grinding, take your casings and you're going to put them in an ice cream bucket or a bowl and you're going to pre-start soaking your casings. Today we're going to use a 2.5 by 14 mahogany casing and it's meant for summer sausage. It has a little string on there to help you hang them up in your smoker when it's time for smoking. But you want to get them soaking before you ever start this process so they're easy to stuff. So when you start stuffing process, you're going to use the biggest horn that comes with your stuffer. Today we're using a 30 pound limb for our stuffing process. Now, when you put your meat inside the stuffer, it's crucial that you don't put no air bubbles in it. So you're going to keep it firmly packed in your stuffing chamber when you're putting your meat in. So when you start stuffing, you don't have big air pockets. After you fill up your first tube, what, what we do is we twist the ends and we use hog rings to seal it off. 
We use a half inch hog ring and hog ring pliers and we just crimp them on and they're ready to go. So after we stuff our 25 pound batch, we're going to let that rest overnight. The reason we have it rest overnight in the refrigerator is it actually helps the meat soak up the seasoning and you have a more flavorful summer sausage. So the next day when it comes to smoking, we're going to pull the meat out of our refrigerator. I use little hangers and I hang it up in my smoker. And we're going to start your smoker off at about 130 to 140 degrees. Now when it comes to summer sausage, what we're looking at is you want a confirmed temp of 155 degrees internal of your summer sausage. And how I have obtained that is I'm going to start my smoker off at a low temperature and monitor it with a meat probe. As the temperature meat starts rising and reaches about 100 degrees, I'm going to bump my smoker up. And I'm going to keep on bumping it up small intervals until you reach 180 to 200 degrees depending on the unit that you're using. And I'm going to wait until the internal temp of that meat reaches 155 degrees. When it reaches 155, I'm going to pull that meat out, put it in a cold water bath as fast as I can, and try to cool that meat down below 130 degrees to stop that cooking process. The reason you do that is so you don't dry your meat out. After your meat has cooled down out of that, in that water bath, what you're going to do is you can hang them up or you can lay them out on racks and you let them air dry at room temperature for about an hour. Maybe it'll take about an hour and a half just until the outside of it doesn't have no moisture anymore and then you're ready to package. So if you like what you see, if you want to get more notifications every time we post a video, just hit that little notification button up on the top of the screen. Until next time. Keep your powder dry, keep your sights on the target, and don't forget, taste your tradition.